Hello again everyone, this is Vincent and this is episode 8 of the Constructor Engineer of the People walkthrough. Today's walkthrough will be on the 4-bit counter with clear and time permitting the 4-bit shift register. So we have the 4-bit counter with clear, so every time this, this click or the increment pulse turns on, which is quite frequently, we um we count up in binary by one, so 1, 10, 11, or 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, 6, and so on and so forth, until we reach um, 15, I think that is, yes. And But um, every time this clear pulse goes through, it completely resets everything back to zero. And um, this probably looks very reminiscent of a, of an earlier, in fact the last episode we did, where we took pulses and each pulse determined one of them turning on and one of them turning off. So first I will make the mechanism by which the clear the clear will work. Let's move that down. So this is basically a sideways, a sideways memory cell. But instead of um, attaching the um, attaching the um reset to to a um differentiating differentiating gate which differentiates differentiates between set and reset, we've attached it to the clear. So whenever this increment turns on. It will, it will turn, it will turn this gate on. It will sustain itself by its own power, no matter, and it doesn't affect the increment. But when clear turns on, it blocks blocks this by which it sustains itself, and everything, and the power gets cut off from here. So this, so this is the power which I'm going to be making for the next couple of memory cells, and I'm just gonna. Make a few. Somewhere like that. And I'm going to make the, the wave shortness so these can actually work to turn the um, memory cells on and off. Just gonna leave that. Oh, whoops! Overshot. So basically, the foot for y zero, which is the units digit or the digit represented by two, the number of two to the zero places, two to the zero is present in the number that can fit in the number. The um first pulse turns it on. The second pulse turns it off. Third turns it on, fourth turns it off, and so on and so forth. So we've just got your average. Ooh, that looks a bit cramped. Space it out a bit. Ugh, a bit ugly. Just delete all that. Let's try again. Space out a bit better. So now you have your ordinary pulses, which turn which turn the um, memory cell on and off depending on depending on whether the its current state is on or off. And I'll just link this into that the power coming from the modified eternal power supply so that it turns off when the clear is turned on. I might not be able to fit in the um, 4 bit shift register after all, judging by time. So, 
Yes, yeah, so you just have your average divide by 2 wave here with the first one turning it on. But for the second one, it is the second and fourth ones which determine whether it turns on and off. So we just so we have the pulse coming from here in fact. Oh, that's a bit ugh. I just linked this up to Y0 just because so I don't have to do it later. How am I gonna get that across? So what what I'm I'm just gonna bridge under here. Oh wait, I have to get the power across as well. So this this is where this is where spacing become starts becoming an issue because you have to fit everything. Yeah, I'll just silicon all the way. Metal bridge. Ah, wait, I can't do a silicon bridge there after all. Have to metal bridge, and this takes precedence because. Ah, screw. I'll just shift this down. Yes, the silicon snakes through. So here we've just made another we've just made another memory cell. But instead instead of the um signal coming from the increment, we have the signal coming from this this um pulse which which differentiates it into which um which separates out the second and fourth pulses. Um, wait a sec. Did I not connect something? Oh wait, that's right. I've completely screwed this up. In fact, um, this wave shortener should be attached to the increment there and its power supply is irrelevant but I'll just get rid of that metal just to tidy it up fail where it gets its power supply is relevant because stupid start menu um, where it gets its power supply is relevant because it's it's completely exclusive from the clear function, so that doesn't really matter. But so I just attach it to the eternal power supply. So I'll just show you that. Gosh, I hate debugging. Oh wait, I forgot to attach the increment to the power to activate the power supply. So now. We've separated the second and fourth pulses from the original increment in order to act in order to um in order to serve as a signal for our second pl um digit place, which is the the number of two to the power of ones in the number. So basically, we're just making lots of divide by one count divide by two counters here. And I'll just connect that up there as as well. And I also have to carry the power supply across to the next memory cell because I can't carry it either by metal or silicon directly, so I have to sort of go through gaps. Uh, how should I position it? Mine it up directly. That's what. And I'll just and I'll just connect this to the the second digit place. 
so we don't have to do it later. Metal bridge. And again, um, the fourth and the eighth pulses turn thi turn this um wave on and off. I'll demonstrate here. So it's the pulses which turn the Y1 wave off. They will turn our Y2 signal on. Uh, and I guess I have to basically repeat the process for the next memory cell. And metal through here. It's going to be a bit of a tight squeeze. Yes, that's a very tight squeeze. And again, well, technically, you could fake that by um, adding, I don't know, how many ticks of delay to the eternal power supply because you don't get any breaks in it, but we're going to do it this legitimately. So I'm just going to lead this down. Middle bridge this, lead this down to be the signal for bugger. I'll just shift this whole thing up one bit and I have to completely remake that So now I can fit. And now we just connect these to their respective outputs. Oh, I've gone a bit over time, and I won't be able to do the four. 4-bit shift register bright anyway. Just watch the output. Um, ah gosh, what happened? Oh, I forgot to via this. Ah, debugging. So that is episode 8, and I will see you in the next episode.